Hi everybody, Shane here at The Brick House, back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a LEGO unboxing of some sets that I ordered over the last week or two. Some of them are from lego.com, some from Walmart, some from Target, so let's not waste any time and get into the boxes. So the first box I have are some Lego Speed Champions. This is the Ferrari. I saw these at Walmart about uh, four or five days ago. This set has retired. It is my second favorite Speed Champion set next to the Lamborghinis. I have enough Lamborghinis, so I thought that I would purchase four of these sets. I got them on sale for $16.99. I see in some places they're already selling for about $40. I think those prices are a little ahead of themselves. But I do think this is going to appreciate in value. Now, a lot of people are investing in Lego now. The, the secret's out that most Lego sets do appreciate some more than others. The Speed Champion sets and the architecture sets are really popular as well as other small sets. As you know, my model is to get medium to larger size sets. Um, there are less people who want to buy them in the aftermarket, but I'd rather buy a $200 set and sell it for four, four or five times than try to sell hundreds of smaller set at smaller margins. But since more and more people are now investing in Lego, it's time that as any good investor, you start to diversify your portfolio. So I have some new sets here that I haven't really invested in in the past. Some are retiring, some are not. But the sets that I am buying that aren't retiring, I have other plans for, which I'll explain as we move forward. So in this box, we have the Creator Expert Mustang. I've never owned this. I've never put it together. This set is for me to build. There's also an alternate build of this set that I might build in the future. So I might buy another one of these. But I've always wanted this set. So in this box... I have the Harry Potter Astronomy Tower. Once again, this set is not retiring this year. I think it will retire in 2024. It may retire this year. This is what I said. You never know. But I plan on using this set to do an alt build. Um, you need quite a few of them um, to go along with another Harry Potter set to build this kind of medieval British castle that I'm going to plan on building. I got this at a great discount, so I purchased, I think, seven or eight of these. Seven of them I'm going to keep, and one of them I'm going to give to you, one of my subscribers. So leave a comment on this video, and on March 4th, I'm going to pick one lucky winner to win this Astronomy Tower set. As I said, not one, not two, but three so far. This is another Creator Expert Aston Martin set. I bought this at Lego a few weeks ago. I produced a video about retiring sets that came back and were still available at lego.com. This is one of the sets I picked up. I have one of these already that I'm gonna to use to make an alternate build of a Mercedes Gullwing, but I did want one of these to add to my collection long-term. I have no plans to invest in this set, but I did want a really nice one to have in my collection long-term. So in this box, now this is a set that I believe is going to retire this year. This set is the Attack on the Burrow. This is what I mean by diversifying my portfolio. There are people who love Harry Potter and people who love this set. There's a resource that I use that tell me which sets are in most demand in each of the themes. So I can gauge how many people really want the set who don't own it yet. And this was one of the top Harry Potter sets that Harry Potter fans want. This is a $99 set I got for $80. This set has just come back into stock at many stores, including Lego. When it's out of stock, it quickly skyrockets to over $200. I think that price is out of line and unrealistic and you should never be paying $200 for a set you can still buy at retail. But it just goes to show what I think is going to be the demand of this set once it retires. This is a $100 set that will quickly double 
possibly even triple in a few years. Another thing I want to say is that since there are more and more people buying Lego sets and holding on to them to resell, moving forward, if you invest in Lego, you're going to have to hold the sets for a little bit longer than usual. Many people are going to buy a set and as soon as it retires, try to flip it and make a few dollars. So there's going to be a lot of inventory and that's going to suppress the price. Remember that investing is about scarcity and rarity, supply and demand. And so a lot of sets moving forward, you should start thinking about having a two year and possibly even a three year hold time on your investments. So something to think about. But this is a set that I'm starting to buy and I think it's going to do really well in the aftermarket. And as you know, when there's something that I like, I don't buy one, I usually buy several of them. So I bought two. I bought three. This is a set I will probably buy a few more of. Moving forward, I plan to do probably a haul a month and really start to expand my portfolio. Last year, I purchased about $20,000 worth of Lego sets for investment purposes. Those sets have now already doubled in value, at least what the the markup value of them are worth. I haven't sold any yet. I don't plan on selling anything till at least the fourth quarter of this year. And like I said, I might even hold them for another year or two. But this year I do plan on buying probably twice, maybe three times as many sets for investment this year. So I'm going to purchase a little every month and start building up. As I said, I purchased quite a few of these astronomy towers. So there's, I think, number six or seven. And here's the eighth one. So now I have quite a few Harry Potter sets. And then this last box. And so the last box has these two Creator 3-in-1 Caravan sets. Now I can tell you that I believe this set is retiring this year. I am really starting to get into the Creator 3-in-1 sets. They are a lot better. The Pirate Ship, the Castle, this set. There's also the Ferris Wheel. As I said, this is one of the ways I'm diversifying my Lego portfolio. I'm going to start investing in more Creator 3-in-1s and even some friend sets because I really think that they are going to do really well in the aftermarket. They're a really good price point, and if you get them on sale, it's even better. Um, so as you see, I have a lot of Harry Potters now, a few Creator 3-in-1s, and so I tell you what I'm going to do today. I said that I would give away one of these Astronomy Tower sets. However, if this video receives more than 500 unique comments, I will give away a second set, which is one of these Creator 3-in-1 Caravan sets. So if once we hit 501 unique comments, I will give away a second set. And then if we hit more than 1,000 comments, I will give away a third set, which is one of these Attack on the Burrows. And finally, if we get more than 1,500 unique comments on this video, I will give away a fourth set, which is this Creator 3-in-1 Mustang. So there's a potential to give away four sets, the Harry Potter Astronomy Tower. Once we get over 500 comments, I'll give away a second set. Or once we get over 1,000, I'll give away a third set. And if we get to 1,500 comments, I'll give away four sets. So pick which set you'd like to win, and we'll see if we can get to 1,500 comments. The drawing will be held on March 4th. I will pick one or up to four winners at random. You'll have 48 hours to get in touch with me to claim your prize. There are going to be a lot more hauls in the coming months. Starting in March, I'm going to be doing a lot of reviews and a lot of giveaways, so stay tuned for all that. That's my video for today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.